in this video, I'm going to switch out this Christmas kitchen vignette for something more like winter. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, let's jump into it. I've really been enjoying my Christmas kitchen vignette. I just love the little snowmen, the Christmas cookbook, and that kind of thing. But now it is time to switch this out for something that's more appropriate for winter. And the winter kitchen vignette is my annual challenge. And here are the details. As always, you have to have a tray because it has to be portable. You need to have some kind of floral, and that floral is up to you, but the caveat this year is needed to have a recipe. So instead of just anything with words on it, you need to have a recipe, and that can be a recipe card, recipe book, whatever, and you also had to have some kind of a kitchen tool in it, and the rest of it was up to you. So now let me take this out, and we'll see what I come up with. I hate to see him go, but he's going to get packed away till next Christmas. So I'm thinking I still want to use this tray, but let's see what I can gather together to put in it. So I pulled together a few things that I thought I might want to use. I really like the way this looked in the last vignette, so I want to try to use it again. But I brought off this other smaller one just in case I needed it. And then I thought I'd like some either salt and pepper shakers in there, maybe a sugar bowl, maybe the wooden spoons. And I always like using this little pitcher here, so I thought maybe I would use this. Maybe these measuring spoons. And this is the cookbook that I want to use. I like to use this cookbook a lot, so I thought it would be nice to have it out. So, let's see what I can put together. And I'm keeping this in the bottom of the tray. I think it'll be better just propped up here like that on its own. Thank you. 
after a little trial and error, I think this is it. I think I'm liking the colors that I have going on right here. I love this cookbook. I use it all the time. So I really wanted to use it here in this vignette so that it was accessible. And then I'm always reaching for a wire whisk, so I've got them right there. And this poppy colored picture just really added a nice pop of color over here. And you guys know how I love this little greenery, so I like to keep it in the kitchen. And then my salt and pepper shaker. But this is what I decided to do with my measuring spoons. I decided to put them in this bowl and lift them up because they needed to be lifted up. But I wanted to be able to see them and get some use out of them. So I've got my set of measuring spoons right there so I can grab them if I need them. So I think that's going to be it. So after I got this all done, I was looking at it and I thought, what's missing? And I realized I hadn't put my pine cones in because pine cones are always abundant around my house in the winter. So I tucked in a few pine cones right there. And of course, that evergreen greenery that is also so abundant around my home. A few cinnamon sticks. And then this little placket right here. And it's actually a little mitten. And it just says, baby, it's cold outside. Elevated that little salt shaker right there. And now I've got my winter kitchen vignette. All the things I need, but it also says winter. I hope you like my winter kitchen vignette. And just in case you're wondering, why do I always do these kitchen vignettes? Well, I think the kitchen is the heart of the home and it is that place where we spend so much time and I like for it to be beautiful. I like to have something in here that's cozy and pretty and makes me want to be here. So I love having something pretty on this counter, but then also something that I can move aside if I need to. So here is my winter kitchen vignette and I've got all the required elements. A tray and a floral. Recipes and I've got a great cookbook with a lot of great recipes. And then some kitchen tools. So my tools include my measuring spoons, my wire whisk, and of course my salt and pepper shaker. Now I'm going to link the 2020 Winter Kitchen Vignette Challenge playlist down below so that you can check out what all the other creators have done. It is just one of those challenges that people really like to bring their A-game and show what they like to do to beautify their kitchen. So for many of us, this is where we start with our kitchen decor. It's going to be this kitchen vignette and then we're going to move out from there. So here's mine and I will let you see what some of the others have done by linking the playlist below. So be sure and check it out. Now if you love kitchens like I do, I've got some other kitchen videos you just might want to check out. In particular, my very messy kitchen clean with me and then some of the other kitchen vignette challenges. I will link them below. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years. And I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about making and keeping a home, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you next time.